To check out all our products, go to musicnomadcare.com. So for the first step, we're going to need our, uh, our pick capo to hold down our string at the first fret, and we'll need our uh, truss rod gauge. And this is gonna allow us to measure our neck relief. Before we get started on the setup, be sure that your uh, instrument is in tune. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it does need to be generally in tune. That's gonna uh, ensure that the amount of tension on the neck is uh, exactly what you're gonna have when you're playing normally. And I'm looking good. So now that we're in tune, I'm going to go ahead and install my pick capo at the first fret. I'm gonna go over the E string, under the A, and over the D. It's gonna hold my low E string down at the first fret so I don't have to hold it down with my hand. Then the bass goes into the playing position. The truss rod gauge is labeled so you can easily see which gauge you need to use for your instrument. Uh, we have three different feeler gauges on here, and this is actually a really cool little gauge. Uh, if you go down to the hardware store and buy a set of feeler gauges, you're gonna get a bunch of gauges you're not gonna use. They're gonna be covered in oil, and you know they're kind of a mess. So this is a really clean and concise gauge. It's a lot simpler. Uh, we have uh, notated on here electric guitar, acoustic guitar, and bass, and then classical guitar. So for uh, bass guitar, we're going to use the eight thousandths of an inch feeler gauge to measure our neck relief. Um, you might be wondering why eight thousandths, not twelve or seven or six. Uh, what we've learned over doing you know, thousands of setups over the last 20 years and having a Plex machine for eight or nine years now, uh, we have found that bases, when set up with eight thousandths of an inch relief, tend to have um, the most even action up and down the neck and uh, play generally the cleanest. Um, if you're a really heavy hitter, you might need a little bit more relief. If you have a lighter touch, you might be able to go with a little less, but, but eight thou is a really good starting point. So in order to make that measurement, I'm going to fret at the 12th fret with my right hand. I've got my pick capo fretting at the first fret. So I've created a straight edge between the 12th fret and the first fret. So I'll take my, my eight thou feeler gauge and I'm going to put this between the sixth fret and the string. So I'm gonna lay it on the sixth fret and just push it in between the string and the fret. And I've got a huge gap between the gauge and the string. So now what do I do? Well, if I look at my gauge, we have the touch rule here on the handle, and it shows if I have no touch, which is what I have, it's not touching, it's not touching the string at all, um, I'm going to turn my truss rod clockwise and tighten it. Um, the way that you govern relief is by using the truss rod. Uh, the truss rod is a metal rod that goes through the neck. It has an anchor at one end, and it has an adjuster nut at the other. If your neck has too much relief like this one does, you tighten the truss rod and it straightens the neck out and removes relief from the neck. So I'm going to use a, uh, I believe this is a 3 16 Allen wrench. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into my truss rod wrench kit here and find the correct size wrench. Yep, and it is a 3 16 Allen wrench. So using my touch rule, I'm going to turn my truss rod clockwise, which is going to tighten the truss rod and remove relief from the neck. So let's go ahead and tighten this up a little bit. It's fairly snug, but it's not too bad. So once I've done that, I'll take my wrench out, back to the playing position, and I will measure again. Still got quite a bit of, uh, of relief there. And if you are having a hard time seeing, you can hold down with your pinky and you can come up here and push the string up and down with your index finger and you can, you can uh, see if you've got a gap or not. And I still do have a gap. So let's come back down here and put the wrench back in. Anytime you're adjusting the truss rod, you wanna make sure that your wrench is well seated in the truss rod nut. Now this is a made in Mexico P-Base, so it has a truss rod adjust at the headstock. Um, it is, like I said, a 3 16 Allen wrench. If you've got a, uh, an American standard uh, P-Base or a vintage base, it's, it's gonna have the truss rod adjustment at the heel. Um, when you have a heel adjust truss rod, you have to take the neck off the base in order to adjust the truss rod. Best thing to do is loosen your strings, loosen your neck bolts, 
pull the neck up. And sometimes you can just tilt the neck back and access the truss rod nut, but sometimes you have to pull the neck all the way off, tighten it. You're just gonna have to guess how much or loosen it depending on what you need to do, and then put it back on, string it back to pitch and remeasure. And then you've just gotta go through that process until you get the truss rod where you want it. This one, luckily I've got the, the headstock adjust. So I'm gonna tighten that up some more and remeasure. That's looking a lot better. So now I think that we are just about there. Got just a tiny bit more to go. And it's good that I only have a little more to go because that truss rod is getting really tight. Um, you have to know, you know, by feel when uh, to stop. Um, luckily I hit my relief measurement that I want right as the truss rod was really getting to the point where I wouldn't want to adjust it any further. Um, if you start to adjust your truss rod and it feels like it doesn't want to turn, just do not force it. Um, you can do a couple of things. One, you can just leave it alone uh, and take it to your tech if you feel like you're not comfortable doing it. Or you can back the truss rod off, loosen it. Um, sometimes it'll pop and then you can loosen it up and put a little bit of oil on the nut and then put it back in and uh, it'll start working a lot more easily. All right, so now we have our truss rod uh, adjustment made so that our relief setting is set at eight thousandths of an inch measured at the sixth fret, fretted at the first fret and the twelfth fret. For detailed videos on how to use each gauge during the setup process, please visit musicnomadcare.com for all our how-to videos.